Okay, so here is um, five different examples. We have five different equations here, and you might want to pause me to write them down. And we want to identify the A, B, C, and D for each one. And then in addition to that, we want to calculate the period. All right, so let's start with example one here. Well, the A is right here, so the A is three. And the B is right here, so the B is four. And the C is right here. And notice this, the equation has a minus in it. So that means that C is just a positive pi over 4. And D, because there's nothing at the end, D is 0. So let's calculate the period. So to calculate the period, and we call it the new period, because we have a new period since it's been translated. So the equation for the new period is the pure graph period divided by b. And for a sine curve, the pure graph period is 2 pi, and for the cosine. So the new period is equal to 2 pi divided by b, and in this case, for example, 1, b is 4, and then I can reduce that to be pi over 2. So what I would suggest you do for fun is pause me um, and then do 2, 3, 4, and 5 by yourself and then start it again and see if you're right. And I will go ahead and talk through these examples. Number 2, the A is 6, the B is 1 quarter, the C is negative, oops, negative 3 pi over 2, and the D is 10. And then the period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. So that's 2 pi divided by 1 quarter. And when we invert and multiply, we get 8 pi. And you're going to know these, you have to know these things for graphing. That's why we're doing this. All right, so number 3. A is 1. B is 10. C is 0 and D is 0. So I could have rewritten this as 1 sine 1 x minus 0 plus 0. Number 4, A is 5 and B is 1, C is 0, and D is negative 10. Oh, we forgot to figure out the period for number 3. Let's go back and do that. So the period is equal to 2 pi over 10. And then when I reduce that, I get pi over 5. Now let's do the period for number 4. So the period is 2 pi over 1. So that's 2 pi. No phase shift at all. And then number 5. A is 2, B is 1, C is negative pi. How do I know that's negative? Because that would look like X minus a minus pi. Remember the standard form of the equation has a minus right here. D is 5. And then our new period is 2 pi divided by B. B is 1. So the period is 2. So that's the end of this lesson.